Hi, I'm Matt with Optics Planet, and today we're going to talk about the uses, benefits, and setup of laser sights. Laser sights can be a great secondary sighting system in situations where you can't achieve your usual sight picture. If you're rounding to a rifle system, all you need to do is make sure that the mounting system on the laser sight matches the mounting system on your rifle forearm. When mounting to a pistol, there are a few more things to consider. As we mentioned in our holster guide, once you add a light or laser to a pistol, it makes holster fit a little bit harder, so you can't just use the same holster. If your firearm has a rail on it, you want to make sure the laser sight either includes an adjustable mount or interchangeable mounting keys so that you're able to activate the switches without changing your firearm grip. If your pistol doesn't have an accessory rail, there are still some ways you can attach a laser sight to it. You can either modify the grip, use a different guide rod, or some laser sights clamp around the trigger guard and don't require an accessory rail. One of the benefits of mounting a laser system to a place that is not the accessory rail, such as the firearm grip or a guide rod laser, is that it allows you to use the same holster that you did before you added the laser. Most lasers are offered in either a red beam or a green beam color. The green is usually easier to see during the day as it is brighter, but tends to use batteries at a faster rate. Red laser sights are more commonly available in a variety of mounting styles compared to green or infrared laser sights. Red laser sights also tend to have a longer runtime and will be less expensive than green or IR laser sights. Laser sights commonly have three modes, a momentary on, a constant on, and a pulse mode. Laser sights are typically activated in one of two ways, either using a push button mounted on the laser body itself, or by connecting a pressure switch that allows you to access the laser without physically touching the body itself. While some lasers do come calibrated for a fixed distance, most of them are able to be adjusted with windage and elevation, so you are able to zero them to your specific load. Finally, there are some lasers on the market that utilize infrared beams, which are not visible to the human eye. IR lasers are most commonly used in night vision applications, so if you don't intend to do that, you want to make sure that you're buying a visible laser sight. So as you can see, laser sights can be a beneficial secondary sighting system and aren't that complicated to set up once you know the ins and outs. Once again, I'm Matt with Optics Planet and thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and check out more of our content.